guys, and what a beautiful morning it is out there. Um, Mr. Dan Phillips is going to do our invocation, and Mr. Turner is going to do our Pledge of Allegiance. Let's pray. Father, we, we first of all thank you for the opportunity to be here this morning and to be a part of this government. Father, you have ordained government even way back when Moses, when Moses, Father, knew that he needed help. And so, Father, for these men that have positioned themselves to be elected by the populace, not to rule and to govern, but to minister and to administer the affairs of this county, for those that are appointed to positions and sitting on the dais, for each and every one, Father, may they diligently, passionately call on you for wisdom and guidance to show them, Father, how to lead this county from the positions in which they have. Father, I thank you for those that attend this meeting. And, and Father, I know that there are issues and topics that come up that passionately touch the hearts of so many people. But Father, may we realize that we are in your presence and we do not have the right to be ugly. We can disagree, but Father, we don't have the right to be verbally violent, but we want to be supportive. We want to speak from our heart. And Father, we want to see this county continue to grow and to get better. And Father, we thank you for all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hopefully everyone's had the uh, opportunity to look over our minutes. Mr. Chairman, I move approval of the minutes of September 11th, Second. regular meeting, August 8th, August 14th, workshop, and September 10th, special meeting. We have a proper first and a proper second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so moves. Okay, now we're going to hand this over to the sheriff's office. In the meantime, we can all just stare at Gator. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. It's my distinct pleasure and honor to come before you today to recognize uh, some of what I consider to be local heroes. As we contemplate history, we can all identify heroes that have done wonderful things. Um, Alexander Fleming, for example, who discovered penicillin uh, back in the early 1900s, and a multitude of others that we could name. But <clears throat> the reality of it is there are heroes among us that walk quietly among us every day. And it's my pleasure today to introduce a few of them to you and to recognize them for their service here locally to our citizens. So as they come up, I'd like to introduce them, and then Colonel Wells will read the citation uh, following which we'll present them with their award. I'd first like to invite up Detective John Zager. Detective Zager serves the citizens of Putnam County and the Putnam County Sheriff's Office as our background and internal affairs investigator. Detective Zager continuously goes above and beyond what is required when conducting background and internal investigations. He conducts numerous background investigations to ensure that we are hiring only the best employees to serve the citizens of Putnam County. In addition to his regular duties, he was additionally tasked with conducting the background investigations on all of the Putnam County School Board employees who have volunteered to be part of our Guardian program. Just for a comparison, in 2017, Detective Zager completed a total of 111 background investigations and so far in the first half of 2018, he has already conducted 99 investigations, many of those being the folks that will serve to protect our children in their schools. Knowing that there has been a deadline set to get the guardians vetted and trained, 
Detective Zager has worked many late hours above and beyond his normal scheduled days to help ensure that our schools have guardians in place at the beginning of the 2018-2019 school year. Even being given this additional assignment, Detective Zager's work ethic, work ethic, dedication to the agency is always above reproach. For this, I feel that Detective Zager has earned the Sheriff's Achievement Medal. He was nominated by Major Johnny Greenwood, Director of Administrative Services. Just on a personal note, I thought I worked a lot, but oftentimes I come in on a Saturday or late in the evenings and I see John's light on in his office, uh, toiling quietly at his computer, uh, making phone calls, doing background investigations. This man probably travels more miles than anyone who is employed at the sheriff's office from uh, the northern part of Georgia all the way down to Monroe, as far as Monroe County down in the Keys. Uh, John is all over the state and all over the southeastern United States doing in-person interviews to ensure that all of our employees and our guardians are thoroughly vetted so that we have the most qualified people working for us. And for that, he deserves our recognition. Next, I'd like to call up Sergeant Chris Bohannon. <clears throat> Sergeant Bohannon is a shift leader in our Central District Patrol. This award recommendation is somewhat unusual in that it is not the result of Sergeant Bohannon's normal duty responsibilities. Sergeant Bohannon is a proud veteran of the United States Army, having served in the war against terrorism. Through his Army service and previous employment, Sergeant Bohannon, Bohannon became quite an accomplished mechanic and is proficient in auto body repair. Sergeant Bohannon developed a program at the Sheriff's Office that he envisioned could save taxpayer money. Through this program, every part possible is salvaged from patrol vehicles that have either been wrecked or have mechanical issues beyond repair. Those salvageable parts are then used to repair other vehicles. Through his mechanical expertise, Sergeant Bohannon performs much of the repairs in-house. As examples of this, parts from a vehicle with front-end damage were used to rebuild the rear end of another patrol vehicle, and an engine that was salvaged from a wrecked patrol car was used in another one with a blown engine. Through his Army experience with armored vehicles, he also performs all of the routine maintenance and repairs on the special operations vehicles operated by the Sheriff's Office. These are all actions above and beyond Sergeant Bohannon's normal duties through a program that he developed himself that have most certainly saved the taxpayers of Putnam County tens of thousands of dollars. Sergeant Bohannon is hereby nominated by myself for the Sheriff's Achievement Medal. Well, that pretty well sums it up, but I will tell you that uh, as evidence of uh, Chris's hard work, if you come out to the sheriff's office, we have a small, uh, small fleet of cannibalized cars that, uh, that are my most prized possessions because uh, every day that I look at them, I'm cognizant of the fact that Chris has saved us tens of thousands of dollars, a good portion of which comes directly back into the county's coffers and helps us out of our, some of our fiscal struggles. So for that, Chris was awarded the Sheriff's Achievement Medal. Outstanding. Next, I'd like to call up Captain Chris Stallings. Captain Stallings is our district commander for the western portion of Putnam County. And on May 17, 2018, Captain Chris Stallings was on his way to a training seminar in Flagler County when he came upon a single vehicle crash. It was reported to our communications center that one patient was an elderly female and that her breathing was almost non-existent. Within seconds, the victim went into cardiac arrest. Without hesitation, Captain Stallings began life-saving measures on the patient by performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation. 
Captain Stallings continued with his CPR efforts until emergency medical services arrived on scene. EMS quickly took over the life-saving measures and transported the patient to a trauma center. On the way to the trauma center, EMS reported that they had gained a strong pulse back in the patient. As of this writing, the patient is recovering well. If it were not for the quick and selfless actions of Captain Chris Stallings, it is believed that this person would have succumbed to her injuries without assisted breathing and other measures performed by Captain Stallings. Captain Stallings is nominated for the Life Saving Award by Major Steve Rose, Director of Law Enforcement. I'd now like to invite Deputy Doug Kennedy and Deputy Jacob Higginbotham to the podium. You got to tie your shoe first? Okay. Okay. <laughs> On June 17, 2018, the Putnam County Sheriff's Office Emergency Communications Center received a wireless 911 call for service. No location was immediately given. However, the communications operators did a wonderful job and were able to track the phone call to the area of Lake View Trail and Pine Place in western Putnam County. The communications center could hear a subject screaming and running in the background. The caller reported that her friend was turning blue but could not provide the dispatch center with their current location. The communication center quickly triangulated the call and dispatched Deputy Doug, Kenny, Deputy Doug Kennedy and Deputy Jacob Higginbotham. Deputies Higginbotham and Kennedy quickly arrived in the area and were flagged down by the complainant. Deputies Higginbotham and Kennedy observed a white male, unconscious and not breathing. The deputies as a team were able to provide the necessary information to the communication center to have emergency medical services also respond to the scene. Deputies Higginbotham and Kennedy were able to learn from people on the scene that the male had possibly taken a lethal dose of opioid drugs and was overdosing. Deputy Kennedy quickly determined that Narcan was necessary to reverse the overdose. Deputies Higginbotham and Kennedy worked together to deliver a life-saving dose of Narcan and provide the other medical services needed until the arrival of EMS. Sergeant Diamond Lewis, their sergeant who nominated them, writes that he sincerely believes that a life was saved in this incident because of the quick response of both deputies Higginbotham and Kennedy and their decision to administer the recently issued Narcan. They were able to keep a calm demeanor in a very stressful environment while preserving life with many screaming and hysterical people around them. The patient uh, regained consciousness, survived, is alive today, and seeking assistance for his addiction issues. I'd now like to invite Master Deputy Dennis Jones to the podium. Like the sheriff said earlier, many of these uh, men and women are, are unsung heroes, and, and it's not likely that uh, you may have even heard of any of these actions. However, uh, Master Deputy Jones's actions recently gained quite a bit of attention, and so we're going to follow that up today with his award um, recognition. On September 9, 2018, Master Deputy Dennis Jones was off duty and was skateboarding with his wife and family in Crescent City <laughs> near the Coinomatic Laundry when he heard a woman screaming. Not knowing what the problem was, Master Deputy Jones rushed to the area to assist. As he approached the area, he was able to hear a lady's voice screaming, he's not breathing. Deputy Jones told the lady that he was a deputy sheriff and could help. The panicked mother placed a two-month-old baby in the arms of Master Deputy Jones. <sighs> The baby was not breathing and was turning blue. Master Deputy Jones' training kicked in and he began performing life-saving measures. After performing techniques to clear the child, whose name is Christian's airway, 
Master Deputy Jones maintained a viable airway until Christian began breathing again on his own. While providing life-saving care, Master Deputy Jones assured that someone was providing the needed information to Putnam County 911 operators. Putnam Fire and Rescue responded to the scene and assumed the medical care of Christian. Christian was transported to a hospital where it was determined that he had suffered a seizure. Christian is recovering nicely due to the quick actions of the off-duty and very modest Deputy Jones. It is not likely that the Sheriff's Office would have ever known about this incident had the mother not come forward, reached out to us so that we would know Deputy Jones's actions. This is just the modest way in which he always performs his duty above and beyond. It is important to mention that this was a family affair. As Master Deputy Jones was performing life-saving care, his wife and children comforted and prayed with Christian's family. Because of this timely and selfless service to the citizens of Putnam County, resulting in saving the life of a fellow human being, Master Deputy Jones is hereby awarded the Life-Saving Medal. This is not Dennis's first experience in saving the life. While serving as a youth resource deputy in Putnam County Schools, he performed the Heimlich Maneuver on a choking child, and as a patrol deputy, he saved an overdose victim by performing cardiopulmonary resuscitation. I'd now ask that Lieutenant Daniel Taylor and Captain Hansel Woods join me at the podium. Captain Woods, for those of you who don't know, is our district commander in our southern district, and Lieutenant Taylor is his deputy district commander in uh, our south district. On September 6, 2018, Lieutenant Taylor hold a heard a bolo, which is a be on the lookout from communication center, regarding a vehicle that was driving erratically. Within seconds, Lieutenant Taylor spotted the vehicle and performed a traffic stop. During the stop, Captain Woods arrived to provide assistance. At the conclusion of the stop, the driver began to experience a medical emergency. Rescue was requested and the driver's condition worsened as he lost consciousness while seated, seating, while seated in the vehicle. The driver was removed from the vehicle, and it was discovered that he was not breathing and had no pulse. Captain Woods began CPR, and after a short time, the driver began to regain a limited level of consciousness, but remained unresponsive. Based on Lieutenant Taylor's interaction with the driver, he believed that the driver may have been experiencing some type of reaction to an opiate. Therefore, he deployed his issued Narcan on the individual, which had an immediate effect. Rescue arrived and quickly prepared the driver to be transported to the emergency room. It was later learned that the driver made a full recovery. If it were not for the attentiveness of Lieutenant Taylor by identifying and stopping the erratic vehicle, it is very possible the driver would have experienced his medical emergency at the wheel, resulting in a disastrous situation for other motorists. In addition to, in addition to the quick response by Captain Woods and Lieutenant Taylor to identify the medical emergency to provide CPR and the use of Narcan, it was later learned that this uh, older gentleman had mistakenly taken his medicine um, two or three times instead of the one time that he was supposed to in the morning, resulting in an accidental overdose while operating a vehicle, um, which then again resulted in his loss of consciousness and no pulse. The use of uh, the Narcan and CPR saved the gentleman's life, and um, we have worked with the family to make sure that his medication is administered in a more stable manner. I'd like to invite all of the award, <clears throat> excuse me, all of the award recipients up to uh, the front of the dais here uh, for a photograph with all the commissioners, if it's your pleasure. Yes, please. I like. It. Small, don't I? Oh, that 
guys are taller than me and I'm up on the steel. <laughs> <laughs> Find me a hole. <laughs> Allison, what are we Thank you for your time, and that concludes the presentation of our awards. Thank you, Thank you Sheriff. Our pleasure. I'll just give a minute, let the officers go back to their duties. <laughs> No, uh, Lori Parker's going too. Okay. <coughs> Lori Parker. Mrs. Parker, would you like to come forward and do these presentations, or would you like me to? Oh, okay, M my mistake. Okay, Mr. Tompkins. Good morning. It is my great pleasure this morning to recognize Ms. Danita Cole from the Public Works Department for uh, Employee of the Quarter recognition. She's one of the, the silent people in the background that, that we depend upon so much to get all our background information done, to provide me with information, y'all with information. She is my liaison with the Planning and Development Division. She does our rails to trails and all our work there, coordinating that. But she's, she's an excellent employee. She sits back there and works all day and it's half time. I don't know if she's there, but the work is getting done. And she goes far beyond what her job description is and she does an outstanding job for us. So it's my pleasure to present her with the Employee of the Quarter Award for this quarter. want to say if together we make this county a great county and we have to work together as a team because the citizens don't know the rules and regulations and we have to teach them that we're here for them and um, that's just my philosophy we just need to show them what the regulations are and we can do the best we can with what we've got thank you well, mrs. Cole what about the commissioners I love the commissioners, not all of you guys sometimes, but. Commissioners, <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Cole is one employee will tell you no quick. You're not doing it. No, I follow the rules. I'm a rule. Come on, you can't leave without pictures. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Danita. Good morning. Well, good morning. How are you guys today? Doing great. <laughs> um, I'm here to present the employee service recognition. This is done every quarter at five-year intervals. And for this quarter, I'm going to call up, uh, I believe there's five people, mm -hmm. and um, present the award if Mr. Goddard would come up. I sure will. Thank you. 
The first one is Prissy Fletcher, if she could come up. <laughs> Sharon Treen is out of town, so she couldn't make it, but Prissy's here. Yeah. Um, Prissy is the horticultural extension agent, and she's been here since 2013. And she, most of you know, she works for the University of Florida County Extension Office. Yeah. Thank you. She's celebrating five years of service. Thank you. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> yes. Uh, the next one I'd like to call up is William Osteen. Hey, Will. Hey, Will. <laughs> Will is celebrating five years of service with General Services. He's a trades worker, and he's been here since 2013. Thank you. He keeps us cool. Appreciate The next one is Matt Thompson. He's from Sanitation. If Matt could come up. Matt is celebrating 10 years of service with sanitation. He's a landfill operator, and he's been here since 2008. Thank you. Glad you could come. Is that it? Uh, next on the list is Margaret Ehrenberg. Margaret? Margaret works for the library. <laughs> Margaret is celebrating 15 years of service. And she's a library clerk, and um, she's been here since 2003. She works at the Melrose Library, in case some of you have recognized her in the area. Thank you. And last on the list, Mark Bozard. Hey, Mark. Mark, Mark has been here 20 years. Mark works with Fleet Maintenance, and he is the CDL senior mechanic. He's been here since 1998. All right. The commissioners have come down for a photo. You want us to stay up here while they're... No? It's up to you. We'll have to get a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love that. Okay, we'll <coughs> move to public comment. Uh, I don't have any blue cards up here, but if you want any public comment, just please come to uh, play, uh, your name and your address. Seeing no public comment, I'm going to close that section and move to our consent agenda. Mr. Turner. I have none today. Mr. Libel. Same. None. <laughs> Mr. Pickens. I have none. Mr. Harvey. Did you see that? I have none, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. <laughs> I have none either. Mr. Chairman, based on that, I make a motion that we approve consent agenda items A through Q. Second. Okay. So we have a proper first and a proper second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay was unanimous. And Mr. Tim Smith. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have no items today, but I would like to make some comments at the end of the meeting, please. Okay. okay. We'll thank hold you. them to the end. Thank you. Okay. So it is exactly 930, so we can move to our public hearing. That's a first. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> He's not as, he is not as quick as Commissioner Pickens, but he is quick. We're going to nominate him for chairman of the quarter. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mr. Pickens uh, taught me everything. 
brutal around here. What is that comment you always make? He's just not as funny as he thinks. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> All right. Well, who who is actually handling our public hearing? That'll be Melissa. Okay. Melissa Pillar. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, this is a continuation of the public hearing that we began on September 10th uh, regarding uh, the uh, new purchasing procurement policy ordinance. Uh, at our September 10th meeting, there was a suggestion made to add some language regarding uh, small businesses and the encouragement of small businesses. And I believe in your packet, you will see an underlying strike through um, version uh, that demonstrates where this language has been added. And with that, I would just open it up to any additional questions since we covered quite a bit on September 10th. Okay. Give them just a minute. Sure. Mr. Chairman, if you don't mind. Yes, sir. Ms. Dillon, I want to thank you. I want to thank our administrator, our attorney, and everybody that worked on this. It's been a long time coming that this new procurement policy has been in place. And um, I think we got a great document here. And we have added the veteran small businesses. And uh, Commissioner Turner recommended small businesses from 1 to 50. I think this is an excellent document to promote our, our businesses here in Putnam County to do business with our county. And I appreciate this document more than you know. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Commissioners, uh, Mr. Pickens, did you have a comment? I'd just also like to thank Melissa and her staff um, for this. As Commissioner Harvey said, it was a long time coming. So uh, I'm glad it's in place and uh, hopefully it worked for us well. All right. I think before a motion, I think you have to ask for public comment. Yes, sir. And I appreciate that. I was just making sure that I didn't have any commissioner's comments. Yes, sir. Okay. At this moment, we will have public comment on this ordinance. Again, I'll open it up for any public comment on this ordinance. Seeing none, I'll close that portion. Mr. Sure. Chairman, if, and just if I might, just... For clarification, so everybody knows, we there, there was a number of um, definitions of small business um, in the statutes. We found quite a few of them, but the one that, that you all felt was most appropriate and that we used was the definition in Florida statutes that apply to um, work comp um, situations or work comp requirements. So that that's where we pulled that definition from, and it, it is um, consistent with that. Thank Mr. You. Chairman, I'd like to move approval and adopt the proposed ordinance repealing ordinance number 2005-35 as amended and it's entirely in replacing it with this new procurement ordinance okay. i'll second it all right so we have a proper first and a proper second all those in favor say aye aye aye, aye. again unanimous thank you thank you, thank you very much <clears throat> okay any uh, appointments Mr. Turner. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, on the fair authority, I'd like to uh, reappoint Renee Hub to the uh, for District Three. Good choice. Mr. Harvey. I have none right now. Okay, Mr. I, I have none. No, Mr. Pickens. Uh, fair authority, District Two, Charles Harrington. Okay. <clears throat> and Mr. Pickens, you had I have none. none. Okay, and I also have none. This is just going way too easy today. All right, so we will move to our county administrator. Mr. Chairman, if it's uh, okay with you, I think I'll reserve my comments for the 505 meeting tonight. Okay, no problem. Okay, so I have, uh, let's see. I guess I will move to Mr. Tim Smith at this time. No, no, I give, excuse attorney. me, county attorney, I jumped. Um, yeah, just briefly, I'm sure you all know this already. Um, the, uh, 
the Fifth uh, District Court of Appeal um, did finally uh, rule on the um, ongoing case that the county and the canvassing board and the supervisor of elections have been involved with um, from the 2016 uh, sheriff's race, uh, that very close election. Um, the Fifth uh, DCA um, did um, affirm the, the lower court's decision um, in that uh, uh, the, uh, the election was conducted properly and canvassed properly um, and that, um, that Mr. Deloche is, is, our, uh, is our sheriff and will continue to, to be so. Um, so we're very happy to, to finally bring that to a conclusion. Um, from what I understand, there has been an indication by the um, plaintiff that there is not an intention to further appeal that matter. Um, so um, I think it's, it's really good um, for, for our community to, to have some closure in that matter um, and, for the, and for the community to, to see that um, as close as it was um, and as difficult as, as it was, um, that matter was, was handled correctly um, and, and everybody can sleep a little better at night knowing that. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Smith. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, last week, uh, our community lost uh, a dear friend uh, to many of us in this room, Susan Hodge. And um, as a dear friend of my family, and particularly my wife, Darlene, uh, who has really um, taken it very hard, I, I wanted to recognize uh, the Hodge family as really a great uh, community family. and. Uh, if you were, if you knew them, or if you attended the viewing the night before the funeral and just saw the outpouring from this community, it would make you proud to know that you live in a, a, a county, a community, a city that cares as much as this one did for that family. And um, in attending the the service at St. Monica's, I rarely uh, go in a funeral procession, but I did, and I was uh, extremely. Uh, proud of our community, of the cars that stopped, of the sheriff's office uh, escort, and of the police department escort uh, of that funeral procession, and uh, the dignity in which the officers uh, stood at attention when the family went by. Uh, it really made me proud to know that this community, in a time of need of a family, would stand up with them and support them. So I wanted to uh, express my uh, thanks to everyone that made that happen for the family and for my friends, and I thank you for the opportunity to say that. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Okay, Mr. Libel. I can't believe this meeting's this short this <laughs> morning. <laughs> Don't look a gift um, horse in the mail. That's right. We'll be going all day. Um, Mr. Chairman, I really have nothing this morning. Remind everybody to barge and frolic this weekend. I, I, Give a shout out for that. It's going to be a lot of activities down the riverfront and worth visiting for sure. And then we have a reenactment, I do believe, at the Bronson Mulholland House. So maybe I do have some things to say. I'm just <laughs> but I think that's it. Okay, thank you. Mr. Pickens? A couple items. Um, just want to shout out uh, the Rotary Club of Crescent City is having its annual, its 26th annual. <laughs> Uh, swine and Wine Barbecue Fundraiser at Wisnoski Farms, formerly Wisnoski Farms, uh, now Crescent Lake Farms, uh, October 6th, Saturday, from 6 to 11 p.m. You can see me for tickets. Uh, it will benefit youth sports and the Rotary Club's education fund. Um, and I'd like to make a comment about um, Officer Jones, Dennis Jones, to Gator and to, to Colonel Joe Wells. Uh, the statement you said about him being so humble uh, it is true. I attend church with uh, he and his family uh, at South Putnam Church, and you would never know that he had done such an act of kindness and bravery to save that child's life. He came in the last two weeks, and you wouldn't even know that he had done anything. So uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good officer to have in this county. We're very lucky. And I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up the fact that uh, one week ago uh, the, today, uh, my son Ian and his wife uh, Shanae had their first child, Isabella Ray, seven pound, 20 inch long little girl, and yes, she is a princess. <laughs> <laughs>
So, but the child and mother, everybody's doing fine, and uh, it had already changed our lives. And everybody has told me that grandchildren are fantastic. They are 100 percent correct. So, That's right. Uh, thank you. And now I, I will be a pop pop as soon as she can talk. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's official. <laughs> Mr. Turner. <laughs> uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd uh, like to congratulate Grandpa Commissioner Pickens, <laughs> Pop Pop Commissioner Pickens. Um, and I'd, I'd like to make a couple of comments, if I may. Um, I, can, I can see from talking to people on the street and what have you that we are making a lot better uh, uh, effort at returning our phone calls. And I appreciate that. Um, especially when people call you just to tell you they got a return phone call. I mean, it's a pretty good deal. So I know it's very difficult in the swing of things to do that, um, but I, I appreciate the effort that's being made. I can see it. Um, also, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to request for our third Thursday, third Tuesday workshop of next month, at least a section of that be dedicated to the building department. Uh, Mr. Siafi has been here long enough to get into the swing of things and know what's going on. I think that I'd like to have a commissioner review of where we are and where we think we're headed. I'm sure that everybody gets the same complaints that, uh, that I do, maybe not, because I'm a contractor also, so I'll probably catch it a little worse. But I'd just like maybe for if he could make a presentation now of where he thinks we should go next and how we should get there. Um, if that's okay with everybody. Mm -hmm. That okay with you, Mr. Siafi? Yes, sir. Give you enough time? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. All right. And that's it for me, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. And Mr. Harvey. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, last week we attended the Taste of the Tater over at Blue Sky Farms, and I would encourage you, we were asked to encourage our residents to ask our local grocery stores to carry local produce. So when you're out and about at your local grocery store, make sure you ask for local produce grown in this area. It benefits us all when we do that. They had some really cool red, purple, sweet potato looking things and they were very tasty and very good. And um, it was a well attended event. And um, those farmers are really trying to always recreate themselves to be better uh, stewards of the land. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I would be remiss if I would not recognize uh, our county administrator. It's been a year since you've been here uh, today and um, wanna say happy anniversary. Thank you for coming over and thank you for the, for the difficult year that you've had trying to do all the things that we've required of you. Um, I, don't, I couldn't imagine trying to work with five type A personality people that always demand of you and you're always trying to do what's best for, I know for me and the rest of us, um, sometimes uh, we might get a little vocal, but I do appreciate the opportunity to work with you and uh, bring all these projects in for a landing that you do. So I wanna say thank you, Mr. Suggs, and congratulations on your one year anniversary. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I wasn't going to say anything, but I appreciate that, and I'm, I'm going to piggyback a little bit on the, the Honorable Tim Smith's comments. Those of us who were in attendance uh, last week at Ms. Hodge's service, there was a word that was used, and the word was gratitude. And, uh, and I'll just sit here today, and I'll tell you uh, the gratitude that I feel, not only for you five elected officials, but for all my constitutional officers out there uh, for all the help and assistance they've given me this year, but most of all uh, to my staff for the hard work and dedication that they provide not only to, to me and, and, and you folks, but to this, this community. And, um, you know, it's just very gratifying to be able to, to sit here today and, and be the county administrator of Putnam County. Very proud. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Yeah. Chair, if I could. Yes, sir. I got one more I don't want to overlook, but press, I want to thank you and your mowing crew for working the last couple weekends and getting us caught up. The roadsides are looking much better and thank those responsible for their extra effort, please. That's right. Thank you. Okay. 
that kind of took some of my thunder because I was going <laughs> to thank him. It is so good even coming in today to see the crews out there mowing uh, and we're not getting the phone calls. I'm not even getting it. What I was getting is anytime I went to any restaurant or store or anywhere, they let me know about our mowing and our roads. But it's just a wonderful, I, I know I say this constantly, but I so enjoy living in this county. I, and our staff is incredible. I, 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 I fail to understand how the ball got dropped years ago and, and because the staff now is just so great I can't see how they could have had any complaints but anyway they did and they don't now and it's a good thing and I'm so happy that we've retained our sheriff uh, <laughs> I know that's got to be very happy for you and your family but overall uh, such as the funeral which is sad this county is an incredible county and they do pull together and they care very much for each other and uh, so I'm just glad to be here and with that mr. chairman yes sir I really I meant to start my comments earlier so I want to go back to that, <laughs> that tomorrow is my 43rd wedding anniversary oh, oh my and so yeah. I meant to, <laughs> really, yeah. well that applause is for Darlene as you know uh, but but you know what yeah what do you give a woman that already has everything I'm well, not real sure but I can say thank you so that's what I want to do. breakfast in bed yeah. good recovery no, she got to go to work <laughs> all right well with that our meeting is closed oh no it's recessed excuse me it is recessed until 505 thank you <laughs>
Okay, just to be clear, this is the motion needed to pass the mill levy resolution, right. which you are doing first. Exactly. Thank okay. you. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so that's unanimous. Okay, so let's move to. Mr. Chairman, I'd yes, like sir. to make a motion to pass the resolution adopting the final fiscal year 2018-19 county budget for all amount for all funds in the amount of $134,126,212. I'll second that. Okay. We have a proper first, proper second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. That's also unanimous. Thank you. So that concludes the Mr. Budget. Chairman, I'd Where's like to make a, a motion. Third one. Mr. Chairman, will I'd like to offer a motion to pass the five year capital improvement. Second. Plan. Okay. Under discussion, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Um, after our workshop this afternoon, it stated this had to be passed every year as part of the, the transportation ordinance or what have you. So this can be changed without just as we go along. It's just a, like a fluid document that we just keep adding and subtracting from as we go, correct? That is correct, sir. If there's amendments that need to be made, we can bring it back to the Board of County Commissioners for that, at that time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Okay, Chairman. No problem. So we have a proper first and a proper second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Now, we also have our public works request. Has everyone had a moment to look at this? Just for the record, this is a <clears throat> was is a previously tabled administration item from um, last month, I believe, uh, prior commission meeting for approval of a contract. That's correct. Okay. What we, what we have in front of you is, is a, uh, our contract for material runs out September 30th. We're asking for it to extend the contract for it to be able to buy the lime rock only at this point in time, and we're still working on the shell rock contract. But anyway, we're asking for the extension of the lime rock contract at this time okay and just so that we do clarify that on the contract shell has been struck out of the contract yes sir it has <clears throat> okay mr turner um there, I, you have to i'm sorry you have to ask for a public input before i make a motion i was going to make a motion as well okay i thought you had a comment my, okay my mistake sir not yours <laughs> okay no problem okay any public comment for or against this any public comment? Seeing none, we'll close that. Mr. Chairman, I move that we approve the uh, the Lime Rock portion of the contract. No, uh, yes, right, Lime Rock. I'll second. Okay. So we have a proper first, a proper second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, so approves. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, commissioners, we'll start with Mr. Lively. Who have any comments? None. Okay, Mr. Pickens. I'm good. Just thank staff um, for all the hard work and um, get this budget passed. Yes. Mr. Turner. I have none, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Harvey. I do want to thank staff and everyone for all the hard work on this. And again, thank you, Mr. Suggs, for your one-year one anniversary with us today. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and I want to say thank you for all the work. I, it, thank you for the budget. It's great. And uh, thank you everyone for being here and we're adjourned. <laughs>